within a decade we will have the ability to have a, a chip that you can implant in your brain that you can have improved communication. Maybe you can have enhanced memory. That is going to be with us. So, should we say, no, we don't want that. We want to stay as we are, as humans. We don't want to go anymore. That, that's not something humans have done in the past. Humans have gone along with progress. The first implant that I had, uh, which is about 10 years ago now, was here. That was uh, a radio frequency identification device and that just identified me to the computer in my building so it opened doors for me and said hello and switched on lights. The last implant that I had was a lot more serious however. Um, the main part of the implant was positioned here in my nervous system and surgeons opened up my arm and found the nerve fibres and fired into the nerve fibres 100 electrodes. I then had wires running up my arm coming out at this point here. Mm -hmm. And at this point there was a, a little connector pad, so I had electrodes that I could plug into the computer. So for the three months of the experiment, what I was able to do was to plug my nervous system into the computer and hence onto the internet. And either by moving my hand, send neural signals from my brain, nervous system, into the computer to control things. Some scientists have estimated we only actually sense 5% of what's happening around us. Very small. There are all sorts of things happening. X-ray signals, ultraviolet signals. We don't, our brains have no notice of it at all because we don't sense it. For our project, we could also stimulate, we could also send pulses of current onto my nervous system that my brain could recognize. And that was an exciting part of the project because uh, for one part, we took ultrasonic signals fed those signals down onto my nervous system to stimulate my nervous system. So what my brain was receiving were pulses of current dependent on how far objects were away. Mm -hmm. So by stimulating, I've experienced an extra sense. What I experienced was just one part of extra sense, that is sonar, uh, ultrasonics, which is like a, a bat senses the world, um, and a bat uses it to fly quickly around caves. That was for me the most exciting thing scientifically that I've been involved with. She had electrodes pushed into her nervous system and with my implant electrodes in my nervous system electrically we linked our nervous systems together. So what happened when she moved her hand, chook, 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 my brain received three pulses, chook, chook, chook. So we communicated telegraphically nervous system to nervous system f for the first time in the world. Quite clearly now communicating brain to brain is the next step. Seeing these advantages of the technology and hence seeing how poor humans are at doing certain things and saying, well, why do we have to put up with this? Why not enhance? Why not upgrade what we are and how we do things by linking myself, for example, with that technology? Why, why can't I have extra memory? Why can't I sense the world in infrared or ultrasonics? Uh, it, it might be dangerous, but it's also tremendously exciting and opens up new opportunities. The way we're heading, perhaps we don't need universities and schools to be as they are now, if we can simply download information into the brain. So the education system will completely change. I, I think in terms of 
um, holidays, the, the, the matrix style, all sorts of questions arise. Do you actually need to go to a place when the image of it and the memory of it can be downloaded into your brain? The medical world will change because clearly we're heading towards electrical, electronic input and stimulation. The nervous system is electrochemical and okay, we can, if you have a headache, you can deal with it by taking chemicals, but before long you're going to be able to deal with it as well by injecting electrical signals. That's going to really affect, if, if you have shares in a pharmaceutical company now, think again, because you're going to be losing money before too long unless that company uh, actually swings to an extent to take on board new treatments, more of an electronic and electrical nature. I ex would expect critics because the, particularly when we look at enhancement, human enhancement, it is going to change life completely. Humans could become a subspecies. Cyborgs, the part human, part the enhanced humans, um, will clearly be intellectually superior in many, many ways. Just, just the concept of thinking in five or six or ten dimensions as opposed to humans thinking in three dimensions. You have a completely different concept of what's going on in the world around you. If, if I was a cyborg and you were a cyborg and we're communicating by thought and so on and some human comes along making these silly noises that humans make called speech, it, it's a bit like now for two humans to be communicating and a cow comes in going moo, moo, moo. Well, you know, I don't mind. Because I, I don't want to stay as a human, I don't want to be part of a subspecies, I want to be a cyborg. And I know I'm not the only one.